I'm Andrew Jack, and I'm talking to Nick Perkins, director of SciDevNet, the news organization focused on science in developing countries. Nick, what exactly is SciDevNet? SciDevNet is principally an online platform that brings scientific evidence and technological innovation to policy and practice in global development. And we do this largely through original journalism. So across our site, you will find news and features brought to you really by our network of 160 correspondents, most of them based in the Global South, and opinion pieces by key thinkers in the fields of science and development. So who are the sorts of readers that you're trying to get to? What, what types of groups of people? SIDEV actually serves a very unique combination of communities. Um, we have a loyal audience of scientists who are working at the front line of development. But we also engage and have a growing audience in what we call mainstream development. And this would typically be people who are working in NGOs like Oxfam and Save the Children, who are interested in how science might be shaping the work that they're doing in a range of areas from in the environment, climate change, across to health and governance. And we also have a very strong following of journalists who are working again in the global self and who are very keen to see how they can support science coverage in their particular countries and regions. And you've got obviously big international science publications, science, nature and so on, often with open access. You've got international and local media organizations that report science to some degree. Where again is the special niche you think that SciDev fills that those others don't? I'll start by actually explaining to you the problem that SciDev is meant to address. Um, in 2012, we did a survey of around 4,000 respondents globally um, in the fields of civil society, the media, policy and science. And what we discovered is around 71% of organizations working in development said that they and their organizations do not regularly engage with scientific breakthroughs and consider this as part of the work that they're doing. So what we're trying to do is to redress that. And we're bringing together, therefore, communities that don't often speak to each other. This is the communities of science, technology, and global development. It's as we were trying to force a common language around these groups because we think this is really important for very effective and sustained development change. Now you've got a London headquarters originally focused primarily on the English language, but I think you've got plans to expand much more significantly into different parts of the world with offices and languages and so on. Tell us a bit more about that. In the last two years, SIDEF has invested substantially in growing the regional editions. And this is quite an important development for us because it means that we can tap into local knowledge and local networks of scientists and development policymakers. And we are publishing not only in English, but also in Spanish, French, and Arabic. Nick Perkins, thanks very much. Thank you.